think it's a skill issue. Uh, skill, still diff. <laughs> Diffed. All right. When we last left our heroes, aside from Sadie dunking on some nerds, Abby had just used her telekinetic powers to convince all the people in this room over here that it's bring your niece to work day. Uh, they all immediately believed that that was correct. And unless you have anything else to say, because talking is a free action, Abby. <coughs> no. I know the niece needs CPR. She has asthma. Uh, asthma? Roll, <laughs> roll 2d6 plus body against uh, choking on your food. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, did you have anything else you need to do? Um, you can add six to your not choking on your own food roll, by the way, because of the minty freshness. Stop. <laughs> hey. Um, I'm going to ask Jimmy if he can route my stream through like a VPN or something like I'm streaming to him. Mm hmm. And he's streaming to the stream. So that way if it goes down, it like has one of those like BRB screens. Okay. Yeah. Just um <laughs> just switch your source and it'll be fine. Or not your source, but your stream key. Although if he's already run you do you normally stream through him? Is that how it normally goes, or does it go straight from you? I mean I would have like I feel like I would have done that for this instance. Okay. You just ask him to make sure that it's all set up and it's all set up. Uh he, he's got your you know the technical difficulty screen into some highlights into some ad spots that you've done as filler if necessary caster cool. stop talk start game <laughs> all right moving right along well you just shot the crap out of their boss so it's it's a uh, ninja time Let's see how your defenses are as you continue to roll everyone over, Sadie. The ninjas are going to leap into attack. But. Yep. They descend upon you, flipping out and swinging their swords around. And we're going to go ahead and do, let's see. Combat equipment. Okay. So they've got a weapon. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> Go ahead and roll four different defense rolls, please. Using your defense value plus six for minty freshness. Uh, nine plus six. Do that four more times? Mm -hmm. Three more times. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, six. If you just press up in roll 20, it'll load the last thing you, you typed. Two, oh my three. god, that's amazing! Wow, you got really good rolls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they did it's not. Sadie, okay. what do you expect? D describe what it looked like when they were all trying to kill you and completely. Are they failing. shooting bullets? No, they're using swords. <clears throat> they're rushing you with swords. I can uh, do it like, you know, Arissa's javelin spin with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but with the scythe, and it creates like enough momentum that the they're like the wind just like propels them back as soon as they come, <laughs> and I'm just like they're blast like, them away. It, it, if you film this from the side, it would be that iconic anime thing where there's the flashing lines, except the flashing lines are just the wind as they're running in place and trying to get <laughs> yeah. to you. All right, I'm here for it. Uh, so much for ninjas. <laughs> that inspo's massive. Dude, it is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, well, now it's time for all three of my hired guns over here to shoot. Oh, wait, no, they think it's bring your daughter to work, your niece to work today. <laughs> Secure the perimeter. You will use these devices that we provided you with if the wampus appears. And they, you notice that these three hired guns are not using machine guns. They have some sort of tech weapon, meta tech energy weapon prepared and ready to go. I am so glad I'm not in that room. <laughs> I am so unhappy that you're not in that room. <laughs> they're all taking defensive perimeters, so they're going to inflict an obstacle on any attack rolls against them. Uh, Winter Wampus, it's your turn. Cool. I'm down there, right? Or do I need to move to be down uh, there? One action to move down there. 
Now wait, so it does moving count as an action? I thought you got a movement and an action on your turn. Nope. Moving okay. from one zone to another counts as an action. Cool. Well, boom. I'm right next to Sadie. Mm -hmm. uh, the Winter Wampus rolls up, and because there are four ninjas just right on top of Sadie, Winter Wampus is going to take their big old mitt, and uh, I'm going to use my combat technique, uh, uh, multiple targets, where I can use one attack, and I can attack multiple targets. Does uh, it have any... How many targets? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. It, 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 it doesn't give us it doesn't specify it says here that for multiple targets uh the character is skilled attack multiple targets with a single action and receives reduced penalties attack suffering minor obstacles or may normally attack suffering major obstacles instead suffer minor obstacles so i'm assuming whatever makes sense all right uh there's rules for this okay you tell me but basically i'm just gonna jump down and then with one big old backhand just have the winter wampus smash all the ninjas away from flux all right Multiple targets with one attack. Two target attack roll suffers a minor obstacle. Three targets, major obstacle. Four targets, you have a minor, major obstacle and they get a minor edge. Okay, so with four targets, they get a minor edge and I get minor obstacles since I have the improved version. I think it would make more sense to just step it because it sounds like it kind of steps it down, you know what I mean? Kind of. So what happens is that whenever I would have minor obstacles, I make it normally. Whenever I would have okay. major obstacles, I, make, I do minor instead. So I can't right. do any higher than minor obstacles. So go ahead and roll an attack with one attack against all four with a minor obstacle. Sounds good. And that cancels out. If you have an edge, that cancels out your edge. Uh, yeah, I don't believe I have uh, I have an edge for this. So all right, then. that's going to be backslash R. This is going to be 3D6 and I'll drop the highest. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Because the yeah okay cool three d six and then you're just gonna roll plus, once yeah and then it's gonna be plus eighteen plus six so good luck I dropped the five so it'll be thirty nope <laughs> oh my goodness you know what <laughs> you know what them rolls yeah uh, so I mean they're mooks so I don't feel that bad um what what's the damage on this uh so. I think so. We said that the damage multiplier doesn't doesn't affect unarmed attacks, right? Correct. Okay, that's unfortunate. It's your combat um, value plus. If I, if I if I pick up like a rock, does that change it? <laughs> no. <laughs> so like, <laughs> what counts as a weapon then? A rock doesn't count as a weapon. Just use the unarmed attack. Claws or some shit. Because you deal oh, okay. ten points of damage for every rank of uh, super strength you have, right? Uh, well, so yeah, ideal. Plus forty, plus whatever my toy standard is. I think the standard, so it's fifty-eight is the base. Yeah, ID so shut attack. up, Matt. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I want to. Maybe I want to find out where the where the limits of this game are. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so that'll be one action to do fifty-eight mm -hmm. to each of them. Are they still up? Uh, yes. Oh, we do it again, son. <laughs> Roll another attack. <laughs> oh, that'll be a 30 again. Well, I can't beat a 30, Matt. So... Oh, then they die! <laughs> then they just die, then. Are you killing them or are you knocking them out? No, I'm just knocking them out. Okay. All right. Whack! You just, like, slap them all and their heads all... I, I just take both my hands and I do a gamma smash where I just have the Winter Wampus just hug them to where they're no longer awake. They all go splat one at a time. Okay, I have two actions left. I'm going to go attack the Crystal Pirate. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. What sounds like a good way to do this? I feel like... If I walk up and just hold this man to where they can't move, does that give Sadie some kind of bonus when Sadie starts, you know, attacking with mind bullets? I don't know. Combat, let's see, combat maneuvers called shots... Striking to wound. Surprise attack, attacking with two weapons. Here's what I'm thinking. If a giant 20 foot tall, like, gamma mm -hmm. ape just rolls up, grabs Crystal Pirate, and just holds them on the ground and sits mm -hmm. on them, like, they can't really dodge Sadie anymore, you know? Let's see. I like where this is going. Resolving, I figured you would. <laughs> resolving a grapple attempt. Resolve a grapple attempt like a normal unarmed mm -hmm. attack. Okay. And what does grappling do in absolute power? A successful grapple attempt, no damage. You okay. hold them relatively stationary. They have a okay. minor obstacle on attacks and defenses. Cool. Attack Great. And defense rules. If the grabbed character, no, that doesn't apply here. 
If the grab character is much weaker, the penalties are increased. So because you're a 20 okay, foot. They are much weaker. <laughs> <laughs> because right. I can lift eight tons. Yes. So go ahead and roll an unarmed attack. Same roll you just did. Yeah, it's, here's the funny thing about that, mate. But this time it's not made with a, a, a modifier. So that's you're a, only that's... you're only slapping one dude. Uh, I'm gonna use one of my mulligans. I have eight okay. rerolls today, so <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again. Yeah, yeah 33. I like that yeah. better. Okay, Crystal Pirate. What's going on here? Let's see. Death dodge, deflection, reflection doesn't apply. Defense mastery does apply. Dynamic powers. Some of the plies. Uh, force shield doesn't apply. Mate, let me touch this man with my giant give me a, hand. Give me, a, give me a sec. Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm just reading up. He's a complicated character, all right? I Is understand. This guy that has mind shield. He, he doesn't have <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, he actually has please don't touch me. <laughs> a phobia of being touched. Okay, well, um... Does it matter? 33 is your total, right? Screw it. We go. We ball. Uh, yeah, he, that's he a is crit. grabbed. He is grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Grab, son. So I would like to say he's major deficiency because I'm just like, mm -hmm. okay, cool. So I, I have, I have, I have four arms. So I literally grab him, I sit on him, and I take the last two arms, and I just, like, pop him on his ears for my last attack. Okay. So, Womp, 34. Womp he has gone. a major uh, obstacle defense yeah, against this, so sucks to suck my guy. A giant Wow, those are incredible. Uh, 19. <laughs> yeah, that's a crit, so that'll be uh, to the tune of what did I say? 58, so 116 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> the concussion wait, clap. Wait. Hold on. Yeah, what, what do you got? What do you got? His force field applies here. Cool, man. Do it. And his armor applies here. Great. Okay. Go for it. Okay. This All is right. just icing on the cake. I'm just setting him up for our for our 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 mind scythe. Okay. How much? <laughs> how much damage? One sixteen. Okay. His force field blocks fifty points of damage. Cool. 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 And his armor blocks another ten. He takes fifty six. Hey, you know what? That's fine. You know how it is what it is. <clears throat> these guys can do so much when they're not getting one shot. <laughs> <laughs> so just for the sake of what we're doing here, I'm just going to be like, eh, there we go. His, his, his head's out. Say, there you go. There's your target, Sadie. <laughs> the brain. <laughs> <laughs> so it literally is just his head sticking out from the wampus. Okay. <laughs> Uh, da -da -da -da. I like to think like one of the crystals peeks out and goes, <laughs> no. <laughs> goes right here. Are you sure you do not want to surrender? Otherwise, she is going to make you like your friend over here. Uh, do you want to go here as well? I'll have him talk on his turn. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, Pronto, it's your turn. You All are right, disguised well, as a scientist. What do you want to do? Uh, what's the situation in this room? These guys are on a defensive perimeter, right? So they're yes. like at the door. And Abby they're all and covering I are the door. The, the, you're, the two of you are outside. You haven't entered this room, and your disguise is still holding for the time being. Okay, uh, Pronto is going to grab Abby, sound like, "Come on, niece," and then <laughs> walks into the room. That's <laughs> one they, action they, to move into the room. They directed him somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Inside the room, so that they could close the door. Yeah. Keep the oh, wampus okay. out. Okay. Uh, Pronto is going to come inside the room, make sure that Abby has got some significant cover by one of the desks, mm -hmm. and then uh, start looking over it as if he was just like getting back to work, but seeing if there are any pertinent documents about what the hell they're looking at in here. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of documents in Also, Russian. he turns to open com. So okay. the other nice. token here. Do you read Russian? Um... Probably not. Former mercenary might have some Cyrillic, but mm -hmm. I mean, okay. Buri has probably taught him a little bit. You've been together for like not the three months. complex documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All these are all in Cyrillic. It's just conversational, mm -hmm. you know, Russian. <laughs> da. Das exactly. Vodka. Yeah. yeah. So they're all. They all seem to be written in Russian. In which case. Uh, 
some of them are just going to get like randomly swept over by his hand uh, mm. now and then just to grab some here and there and some nice. into the old pocket dimension yeah oh nice okay uh roll like sleight of health do you have anything that would represent like being sneaky maybe 2d6 plus body plus pocket dimension levels unless you have some other skill that would apply just to avoiding being detected uh as this is sort of like um would i be able to use my expertise in this what's your expertise <clears throat> uh major expertise rank six but that's mostly for weapons but this is like the same motor functions mm -hmm. as like using the weapons mm -hmm. i'm gonna say no if it applies to weapons uh, i'm gonna say no uh plus what do you say plus body body plus pocket dimension unless there's another skill that would apply plus six plus six Wait, oh, I, I didn't. I don't think that works. Correctly. That's I, I ended up. I ended up with underscores. You know what? It's fine. You do it. You they they don't notice you. Pog. Okay, Crystal let's, Pirate. Uh, what do you got? Stay. Let's stay low key in here. Yes. I love how we kind of naturally broke up into the stealth team and the absolutely mm -hmm. just will melt your face <laughs> team. <laughs> the the min-maxes and the stealthers. Well, it's great because you guys can change minds and change form and like your your <laughs> stealth insert abilities are so amazing and Sadie and Buria just break down doors and <laughs> just kill people. We just don't have enough actions to get over to you and do anything. <laughs> 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 the movement action economy is yeah, too Yeah, Flux and the Winter Wampus are like on the zoomies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a that's a plus one XP for us there, champ? We've learned a lot about this system. And one of those things is that extra actions are very good. Yeah. Very good. He's very good. Okay. Um. What do you got, my guy? <laughs> well, here's what I got. By the way, can I just tell you real quick uh, mm -hmm. that Boria weighs eight tons. So isn't he just dead with your impact on him? <laughs> he, he, he's, he's probably had squash. his spine severed. Fun fact. His force field protected him from being crushed. Yeah, that makes sense. Crystals. Oh, good, good. The air around you, Wampus, crystallizes. <laughs> as he lifts you off him telekinetically, effortlessly. Whoa. Yeah. He can lift 100,000 tons with his 100,000 tons? Yes. <laughs> okay, but I'm still grappling him, so he just lifts me with him. Uh, he's going to try to use his telekinesis to remove you. Okay, so it should be divided by 100, right? No, it's not a damage attack. It's just roll uh, an opposed... We're going to do this as an opposed roll. Roll that unarmed okay. attack again. Okay, but he should still be at a major issue, right? No, because he's just using his mind. Oh, okay. If this fails, mind then fight. you know, <laughs> then it sucks to suck. Um, yeah. I'm getting that feeling again, like it might suck to suck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does suck to suck. You, the, the two of you are lifted mulligans. into the air, but you're still grabbing yes. it. And this ball of crystal like rolls around. And... <laughs> I cannot. Still, my friend is trying to kill you. <laughs> I cannot, in good conscience, surrender to those who work for the Five Shields Consortium. To do so would be to betray everything that I hold dear. Uh, yes, but if you do not surrender, you might die. Is the thing. So can we just talk to about die this? As a revolutionary, than to live as a collaborator. But okay, sure. <laughs> and uh, but for real, can you turn off the heat? Because it's like going to burn up your people too. So maybe turn that shit off. He speaks. <laughs> I'm not even up there anymore. He speaks to you in Russian, Boria. Oh. And says, Fuzzy comrade, you are on the wrong side of this battle. 
Those who you work for will sell you out if they can to those that made you. Uh, responding in kind, Buria says, Comrade, I have no fealty to the motherland. I have fealty to my friends, and wherever they go, I go. Russia, Capitalism means nothing. Russia is not the motherland. The motherland is the people and the workers, and I am telling you very literally that the five shields will sell you out. Okay, but like you are a villain, so of course you would say this. <laughs> I am a revolutionary, not a villain. Just because I've been painted that way by the masses means nothing. Everyone else. Okay, then, then, then tell us. Go, tell go, no, wait, sorry, oh, no, no, no. Just going back and forth. <laughs> what do you say? Why do you keep coughing at each other? What's happening? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's all the Crystal Pirate can do. Uh, niece. Niece, what are you doing? I'm the niece. niece. Yeah, you're the niece. They brought you to work today. What are you doing? Um. I don't know. We should have Jimmy do Discord video call Sadie so we can see what happens down there. <laughs> I mean, I could just look. Yeah, let's no. just look. Do uh, you want to leave while they're all there? Dear uncle, we should just stay in this room. Yes. <laughs> because I'm later, going. later, Sadie comes here and kills everyone. And then everything is fine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Can I'm you read eat. Russian? Do you, you have talk Google Translate on your phone? I'm just talking to my niece. She, she has so many questions and I'm telling her about the NDAs. Why don't Why don't you just send the documents to Jimmy to translate? Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to get them to Jimmy? Uh... <laughs> Go across distraction. Me? <laughs> Actually, like, no, no. I will talk to the big scientist guy. You use Google Translate app on phone. Oh yeah, you can just use the app to scan the items. And it'll, it's the year 2022, baby. Yeah. Uh, Do Doctor Watson's face approaches the head scientist. Yes, Volkov. <laughs> What are we going to do if they get through our comrades downstairs? Mm. Business associates, nothing more. Uh, we are prepared. We have contingencies. We have an exit strategy. Yes. And, uh, given that Wright has not reported in, it may be time to employ it. The other five shields team is around here somewhere too. White banner, should hold them. White banner should hold them at bay. Conversation continues. Sadie's thing. Uh, All right. All right. Sadie May and Abby. Abby. Question. It's Abby's turn. Is What's quick question? Uh, is there a big K anywhere? Like for Kolovna? No. Okay. Not uh, Upstairs, yes. Downstairs, no. That's, that's what I was asking. Not with me, with them. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, Abby, what you doing? Um, so Abby is using her phone. Like it looks like she's just like on her phone, mm -hmm. but she is secretly taking, you know, scanning the images with Google Translate. Okay. All right, it's kind of a little bit slow, but it's picking up. There is genetic information. DNA combined with magical information. It's a complex mixture of the two, and there's mentions of potential buyers for this information and raw material. One of them pops up, um, Matthews. And the other one that pops up is Artificer, a.k.a. Blake White. 
Hmm. And there's two offers already on the table. Matthew's offer is much, much larger, but may not be advantageous. And some of this information, you as you look more and more into it, it pertains to Buria. I'm um, screenshotting and mm -hmm. like sending to the group chat as we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. The Discord group DM is going wild. <laughs> Buria, does the Winter Wampus wear clothes? Didn't used to, but now they're wearing the five shields okay. attire. All right. So your cell phone is like in your pocket or something. And as you're wrestling with the crystal pirate and bouncing around the room in this ball, it's um, and then I will use my cognition mm -hmm. to see what is going to happen in the next 10 minutes. Okay. That's as a building you... size area. All right. You project into the future. You detect a complete panic in your own heart. Zero bars. Static in the calms. Alarms. Sirens. Outside. A strange humming noise and the crystal pirate rising up as the building itself lifts into the air. He's also glowing blue and purple. Oh no. Oh right, crystal pirate, crazy alien crystal stuff. Yeah, all right. Cool. Can I, um, rather than <laughs> explaining it, can I like draw a little picture? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Send it to the chat. Uh, how good are you at, at, at draw? It's like things? stick figures. Okay. Uh, go ahead and use the roll 20 tools. Oh my God. To draw, oh gosh. To That's draw what you're going to send to them. <laughs> how do and, I do uh, that? Hold on. Here's your, here's your cell phone. Knock yourself out. <laughs> we can't just do a mind check for this? <laughs> nope. I mean, oh my God. have mercy on Janessa. She only has one action per turn. So she's got a lot of time before her next oh, that's, turn that's to work it. on this. That's not what I meant, but yeah. I'm just I upset that I don't fun. have... I'm using my mouse and not my tablet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if you want to draw something and send it to the Discord, I can put it in Roll20 when you're done. Your call. <laughs> your call. I'll do that while you guys do your next five actions. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I'm deleting this. Uh, Okay, Sadie, it's your turn. The crystal pirate is being is bouncing around the room in a giant crystal ball of crystals. <laughs> what do you want to do? So does that make him hard to hit or eh, not really? Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna try hitting him then. All right, he has a major obstacle because he's being grabbed by a giant yeah. peppermint smelling oh. Wookie. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, he has the obstacle. He has oh. the obstacles. Okay, let me go remember what I roll for this shit. Two d six plus a uh, weapon. If you just press up, it should take your last roll. Actually, and yeah, that should be that. should be good. It's, uh, it's, uh, that way I rolled something. That else. was a defense roll. Twelve plus oh, two okay. plus six plus nine. There it is. Yeah. No, that... Then I press up. Why do you have and then put up? The, the... 22. Oh, that's not 22. It's two. Okay. So minus 20 from those. Oh, yeah, let's so wait. 2d6 plus 12 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9. So it's a plus of 8, 17, 29. 2d6 plus 29. So it's 12 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9. Should I just re-roll it? I don't care. I think I just saw Nemo's brain explode in real time. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to just re-roll it because math hurts my brain as I'm well. I'm just reasonably sure that he One, can't roll his way out of this. Two. two. Three. Okay, well, the first does the first one. What's the damage on that again? 58 or something. Well, it depends on defense if I crit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You, you throw it once and he goes and falls limp and the crystals fall apart and he's down. Yay. But yeah, it was like 57 per attack. Yeah, he's down. 
But on the first attack, he's down. If you keep going, you, you might kill him. Oh, you've... then if I just need the one attack, then I'll hold my other two actions then. All right, I what guess. else? Well, you've, uh, Artificer, hold on. Let's get the green back of tier down here. Let's get, let's make it a party. Yeah. Oh, good. We can make him dance. Yay. Da, 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 da. Right, yeah. Artificer, <laughs> green back of tier, and Crystal Pirate are all in the same place. You have two more actions. What do you want to do? Who's still alive? Is uh, that ninjas? No one down here. No, the ninjas are alive, but they're all unconscious. They Mate, is that power source down here still? Uh, yes, the main control panel is down here. And the generator must be nearby. Can you, you uh, can we see where the generator is? Yeah, it's just behind uh, this room. Big old glowing. Your, tele your psychic attack won't work on it, but your telekinesis would. Okay, I use telekinesis to unplug it. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the circuit breaker. Flick. And flick. <laughs> and last action. Are we supposed to go deeper underground, or is this? Are we as I mean, deep as we need you don't have any intel about anything deeper than this. Also, the lights go off. Oh. Oh, goody. Should we just collect these bodies, go show them to the American then? Nah, I will Wait. grab the bodies and put in them upstairs if you want to head on up, Flux. I will join you as soon as possible. Okay. I use my last action to move up to where the niece, niece and friend are. Niece All and right. uncle. Zip. Off you go. <clears throat> Hello. She is also niece. <laughs> the, 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 the scientist's head pops around the door, but like it would be strange to Sadie because she's essentially standing over the corpse of the same scientist, but out of sight of the door. Are you still shirtless, by the way? No, no, no. He put his body armor back on. <laughs> so he All just right. looks like a scientist in body armor. Before your very eyes, Wampus, mm -hmm. there is. A flickering blue light. A woman appears in front of you. Do I recognize her? No, you've never seen her before. Oh, okay, good. She looks up at you. Eyes wide. That was her first action. She looks at the three of them there. Grimaces, clearly unhappy. One hand on green back tear, one hand on artificer. Second action. Blue light flickers around her. Uh, you smell. You recognize her smell. From the stairwell. When the green back of tear first appeared. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. Oh my gosh. Uh, there, was a, there, was, there was that name. It began with an E, I think. Dr. Right? Tesseract? Tesseract. That's it. That Dr. was on the teleports, Tesseract. right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's basically all she does, but she's extremely good at it. Oh, man. But she leaves behind the Crystal Pirate. She apparently could only... She had to make a choice, and she made her choice. All right. Mm. The, the hired guns appear as the light... Mm. Turn off. They all click on their night vision. <laughs> Down. Quiet. Dr. Belyavev, where's the emergency power? It's supposed to kick in right now. I will take care of it. And he walks over to a small metal sphere on the table. Puts <clears throat> one hand on it, and his eyes... And it begins to glow, and everyone in the room hears vague whispers. and <laughs> As runes float around under the metal surface, glowing and spinning faster and faster until it illuminates the room and the power in this room flickers and turns on. It's they a all... good day for Lemon to still have an action. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon, uh, you still have an action that you haven't used. They're about to close the door. What do you want to do? You who's go the, the baddiest looking baddie in there? Uh, the guy who's touching the, the metal ball and glowing. I'm scything his ass. <laughs> Saf is ass. Lemon you, you Saf can have is a, ass. You can have 
a minor edge on this because he doesn't see it coming. What does that do? Uh, roll 36 and take the best. The best two. That work? Uh, yeah, that works. The 3d6, right? Yeah, we, we dropped the two, so that's a 37. Okay. Uh, that is a crit. His mind shield kicks in, absorbing 20 points hey! of the damage. Uh, but that's not enough, and you fry his brain. Dr. <laughs> Bellular. <Bellamy. laughs> he has just enough time to realize it's happening before he just mm -hmm. goes unconscious. He falls to the ground, but his hand is still attached to the orb as if it's glued. Ooh. Like, his whole body is, is just slumped, but his hand is still on the orb on the counter, which is still glowing. The two scientists next to him look at it and they start running out the door. Do I get an attack of opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> they only have one action, so they move into your zone. Uh, Wampus, it's your turn. The level of magical uh, radiation just spiked. Uh, where? Uh, here? In the entire complex, but mostly in this room here. This, this okay, guy, the one, the one that they're all in. Okay. Yeah. Basically, he just acts it because he was fried in the middle of doing it. He just opened the, the arcane demon core. Okay. Is anyone uh, familiar with the story of the demon core? No. It's no, not a story the Jedi would tell you. <laughs> all right, Wampus, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to grab, because there's only the four ninjas and the crystal pirate left, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to wad them all up. And, uh, and then carry them upstairs with me. Just like, so I'll grab them and uh, I'll head upstairs. Uh, okay. I don't, I mean, there's a lot of people here. We stopped the heating, so that's that's good. Um, the rest, so I just saw that the Dr. Tesseract is trying to re recover these people. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to drop the four ninjas somewhere where they can be easily recovered by the good guys when they show up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to keep Crystal Pirate on me. Mm -hmm. uh, like, kind of just football holding them. Uh, and, gosh, at this point. Do we have a comm link with the other... Uh, you can tap into uh, Breach Fist. Yeah. I'm, uh, 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 look, I mean, Breach Fist, uh, we have eliminated... Well, uh, captured the Crystal Pirate and some ninjas. Uh, Dr. Tesseract has taken the unconscious form of Artificer and the 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 money men. You know what? This is easier. And uh, Buria, with his times 300 jump, just jumps straight back up to the <laughs> upper level. <laughs> one action to move into this zone. One action to jump 300 feet into the air out of the hole. Shoo. And as you do... You notice the sun has just gone over the horizon all the way. There's still the colors of the sunset. Uh, but there's also a blue and purple flickering light emerging through the clouds. Uh, mate, can I just say before he does the jump that mm -hmm. Buria shouts off to his friends, Dr. Tesseract is teleporting villains. I'm trying to get Crystal Pirate to our allies. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> All right. One action to move up here. One action to move up here. You jump into the sky. You see blue and violet flickering lights through the clouds. Does it look like that same kind of energy that dive bombed last time? Yeah, the exact same. Kind. Okay, fantastic. Do I see any heroes doing their hero thing? Yeah, you see on the other side... Um, the American is shooting lasers at something on the north side of the complex. Do, do I see somebody competent? Do I see Breach Fist? <laughs> uh, yeah, you see, you see Breach Fist taking cover. Cool. Devil Dove is also flying around and like throwing chunks no, of building. Breach, Breach Fist. No, it's okay. cool. Breach Fist. <laughs> uh, Buria is going to either move to intercept them or get their attention. Can they I mean, hear me if I it, try and talk to them? Yeah, enormous wampus. Yes, easy to get attention. 
Yeah, the Wampus roars, gets Breachman's attention, and then moves over to them. Okay. I've been so trying that's three to reactions, to... right? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to raise your team. What's going on down there? I believe communications have been cut off. Uh, there is somebody, uh, a third party, allied with the uh, with the bad guys. Uh, they have been trying to take over communications, and they said something about uh, us moving into next stage of plan. I don't know, but here, here is Crystal Pirate. Uh, I was trying to inform you. We defeated Crystal Pirate. We defeated Artificer. We defeated Crypto Man. Uh, wait, not not no Money Man, mundane Money Man. Uh, Dr. Tesseract came and took Money Man and Artificer, but you need to hold Crystal Pirate. Uh, okay. There are also scientists in lab coat downstairs. Please come uh, help, because we have now turned off power to the entire facility. Okay. Mind speed, zap him. And she says, uh, Bra mm. Sword. Yeah, I'll just go. <laughs> and so, uh, mind speed zooms over, grabs the crystal pirate, and zooms with him towards the enormous truck that they brought with them. And Breach Fist is going to go downstairs to assist with whatever's going on. Great. Can I just grab them and bring them down? Since yes, I... okay, cool. I... All right. Excuse me. This is uh, you know, make make it quicker, and then I just Oof. use the rest of my movement to. All right, the Boria bus. Yeah, the Boria bus, exactly. All right. Whoosh. And the two scientists are still in the process of running out. All right, Pronto, it's your turn. The two scientists just ran out, and the glowing metal sphere is... Is it attached to this podium kind of thing, or is it just sort of like floating on it? It's, got, it's in a stand on the podium, like pretty mm. well anchored, but it can be lifted. There's a couple of large cables plugged into the back of the base that it's sitting on. And Dr. Belyavev's hand is like fused to the top and you're starting to smell burnt flesh. <laughs> uh, oh, that's Ponto so looks, good. looks out after the uh, the fleeing scientists. Abby, go. And then you go over. He's going to touch the back of the doctor's uh, head mm -hmm. with his symbiote hand. And then his hand is going to transform into the doctor's hand and he's going to put it on the orb. Oh! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby! What does that do? <laughs> Something that gnomes didn't expect. <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> what? what do we do, though? Okay. All right. One action to acquire the doctor. And one action to morph and put your hand on the thing. It is hot to the touch, even though it isn't glowing at all. It sets off a vibration in your bones and that your symbiote thing can feel all the way through its non-Euclidean geometry. Your eyes roll into the back of your head. I need you to roll a mind check, please. 2d6 plus mind plus minty freshness. Yes. Is this a defense roll? Mm, defense mastery counts, but your con otherwise your combat value does not count. I, I was thinking in terms of expertise, because I get mm. major edges on all my defense rolls. Oh uh, yeah, well, I'll uh, I'll allow that. Yeah. And I get a plus one from defense mastery. Uh, drop six twenty three. Okay. Oh damn. wait, no, no, uh, drop three. Uh, drop three, so twenty six. Damn. Okay, not bad. <clears throat> you do not immediately take a bunch of psychic damage as you perceive why is it always your characters um <laughs> <laughs> you perceive a sky full of blue and violet lights hanging in a dark blue gaseous horizon is it our sky no absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not and then something reaches out grabs one crunches it there's an audible crystalline shattering crunch 
as this unseen hand completely smashes it and then pulls away. And then another enormous cosmic hand crunch. And they keep one by one. Then one of them falls, shoots through the sky into a much a flat world, a much less depth, a world with much less depth, fewer dimensions to it. And the passing harms it greatly. You can see that it's fractured as it falls. And as it continues to fall, it starts sending out a call for help in the language that it speaks. And then the meat creatures of this world fly up and start shooting it with heat rays. Eventually, it lands further injured on this very island that you are on right now. This exact place. Then it's things are very, very cold. Then there's a loud banging sound and its leg is hit and its hand is hit. And then it's crunched like all the others. And the sound of its shattering pierces up back from one sky to the other and echoes like a little crack. And then it rings amongst all the other blue and violet stars. And the hands keep reaching out and crunching them one by one. And so they all fall at once towards the place where they heard the last one's cry for help get snuffed out. And they all fall into the other sky. Pronto's calling. Uh, this this thing's a beacon. For all the things we saw at the Gadarian Institute before, they're all coming here. It was a f many dimensional sky full of them, and they're all on their way. Thousands. Yeah, I saw something coming out of the sky, Pronto. First of many. Huh? At the exact same time, something pops up in the group chat. <laughs> Let's go! What the heck? <laughs> it's from Abby. What is it? Uh, it your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> very she write the true. future. <laughs> yeah. Future. That's what no. the image is called, the future. <laughs> How many times can you teach this lesson, old man? <laughs> okay. Uh, that is it for Pronto. On Crystal's pirate, Crystal Pirate's turn, he's getting shuffled away into a zapper truck. He is unconscious. Abby, it's your turn. You just got a question mark in the group chat from Sadie. <laughs> Bro, well. You say, uh, I didn't draw that, but Rosedale did, so thank you, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> What would you like to do, Abby? Um, what did Pronto say? Pronto told me to to leave. Yeah, uh, he he motioned after all the scientists who were running TF away. It's like Abby, go. And then he went and touched the old ziggurat or whatever it is. The orb. He's pondering the crap out of the orb. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go. If I go, I can't do anything. Where are we going? Well, ask, ask the group chat. <laughs> what are we doing now? No we response. Should, we, might, <laughs> we might need to destroy this thing. Well, Can somewhere. I do voice to chat? Can I do voice to chat? I can't really type. <laughs> <laughs> voice sure. memos again and again from Boria. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can... GTFO. What would you like me to do? <laughs> Get out or destroy the thing. Do you have something that could break this? You think it likes pepper spray? <laughs> I mean, th there are a lot of plugs going into a basement. You could just unplug it. 
Can we just talk to the people who just ran out? Oh yeah, you use your Jerry? mental powers. Get them to to turn it <laughs> off. There's no one by me. There's uh the other two scientists just ran out of the room. When they saw Dr. Belyavev. What his... are all these guys? Oh, oh, those are yeah, okay. fired guns. Oh, I, I, they look like they were in glasses. It's hard to tell. Sorry. Nope. Nope. Those are uh, echelon mercenaries. Um, is the doctor well, in the room? The actual doctor? He is touching the fragged. orb. Uh, Sadie hit him with a psychic bolt while he was touching the, burn it, the glowing orb. And now his hand is fused to the orb and he is unconscious and still touching it. There is still mental activity going on in his brain. Okay, I'm gonna. Can I touch him? Yeah, you can touch him if you want. Just have a little orb cuddle over here. <laughs> orb cuddle. And Pronto's touching the orb, and his hand looks like Doctor Belyavev's hand. So both of them are touching the orb. Doctor Belyavev is unconscious, and his hand is like stuck to it. So if I touch Pronto, I am thereby touching him. Yes, by association. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna hold Pronto's hand. Mm -hmm. Um, and then try to mind control the doctor. Yes. Okay. All right. Roll uh two d six plus mind plus. Is it wait? Does it say that you use an attack to do this one? I've sort of been um winging it. Let's see, telepathy. It is can. It so I just leveled it up to four. So now mm -hmm. it can do aggressive things. And it's the mind control ability that you're using, right? Yeah. Which means significant General, mind okay. control. Unwilling target. If the attack succeeds, uh, the attack is automatically successful because unconscious. So you it requires an opposed role using the target's mind stat against your mind stat plus your mind control. So okay. roll 2d6 plus mind plus mind control, which is four now, right? Yeah. Plus six for minty freshness. I love that it's called minty freshness. 20. <laughs> oh, the snake eyes. Double ones. Oh, no. Noobs finally won a roll. Oh, and it was can really I use my mulligan dude. on that? <laughs> Does your mulligan allow you to use it on other people's behalf? It doesn't say my own rules, and maybe Matt can like, double confirm. <laughs> it just says skill check, check, initiative, attack, defense. It doesn't say your own. Let me double check. Okay. May have powerful force, which can manipulate the okay, like maybe keen, lucky, perhaps subtly influence their surroundings with thought alone. It's for us re rolling up to two rolls per each gaming session. Apply to attack. It, it doesn't say you, it just says you can affect the world around say, you. There is no rule that says a dog can't play basketball. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. I, give, I, give me I, that. Clement does have LOS. Um, right. Has LOS. Go ahead and give me that roll. Oh, dip, dip, potato, chip. Remember, if you just press up, it'll re enter it for you. Oh. Oh, still not enough. You were the chosen one. Wait, it's two Ooh. rolls though. Oh, try again is though. Is the door is the door closed? Multiple? No, the door's not closed. Rolls. The door's not closed. Mm -hmm. I also have LOS. Do you have Mulligan too? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Hate it here. Oh my god. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> you... Yeah. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I still rolled a one. Iteration, baby. Iteration. Pizza, beats it. Okay. I think this uh, is called strong arm in the situation. <laughs> pseudo reroll. All right. So when you touch and you pass, you're going through another conduit. So there's some interference on that ground. That's probably part of why this is so difficult. Uh, all right. You have gained mental control of the doctor. What would you like to do? Um... So I have level four, so I can give complex, aggressive suggestions. Oh wow! Um, so I'm going to tell him to turn it off and destroy it. I don't know how he's going to destroy it. He could throw it, disable it. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, I don't speak Daft Punk. <laughs> and uh, nevertheless, Dr. Belyavev is going to close his other hand on the sphere. Yank it out from its plugs. And then just holds it between his hands and his eyes roll into the back of his head and the sphere starts to glow brighter and brighter and brighter and you can feel heat emanating from it. Oh no. It's, um, it's getting hot in here. Was your order to destroy it or disable it? Disable, <laughs> disable and destroy. Okay, yeah, then that's what happens. <laughs> Borea, you are now in an area of very high magical radiation. Oh, okay. Uh, Sadie, it's your turn. Dr. Belyavev is holding the orb and his eyes are rolling back into his head and it's starting to glow brighter and brighter to the point where it's hard to look at and you can feel the temperature rising. It's like you're standing kind of near a blast furnace. Oh. Uh, so I gotta shoot some gunmen? Pronto, where? Oh, there's three gunmen uh, in this room. And they just realized yeah. he's not who he says he is, but they don't get their turn until like, yeah, screw these ninjas. The ninjas are done. They go immediately after you and they're finally realizing that, hey, wait a minute. You're not his niece at all. <laughs> Actually, Frank, <laughs> like he's bringing his niece, but he's not Dr. Volkov. <laughs> <laughs> that makes her a non-friendly niece. I, just like Daisy. But it is act. still bring a niece to work day. That's just not the right doctor and the right I attack exactly. one of them. Oh. 87 damage. <laughs> unless unless it's a crit, in which case it's double dead. All right. Even though you didn't uh. touch him, you just attacked his mind. Somehow he gets flung across the room and just bounces against it. Oh, my. Yeah, sorry, chum. <laughs> That was one action. Looks at the other two. Was it? There's how many? Three total? Four, three. There, there were three. three. Now there's two. You all what he's having? Looking at we the We are other just two. leaving. <laughs> What's going on with this orb thing? Look, they pay me to shoot people who walk in here. They don't pay me to know about orb things. And you know you didn't do a good well, job. Well, you better think of uh, come up with an assumption. Because it's I'm going to kill you. <laughs> make an assessment. Yes, the... it's gonna blow up. How do we make it not? I, I, it's... Can someone like teleport it to something? Do I look like I can? If I could teleport, would I be here right now? Maybe. Well, yes. Wait, you're Abby, not... you're not able to disable it. Or it's stop disabled, it. but it's still blowing up. It's just getting destroyed. There's a lot of energy in that thing. Wait, there's a hole straight out of this place, right? <gasps> mm -hmm. I'm going to take yeah. the orb and just home run chuck it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can giga yeet things up to, what, 20 pounds? One ton. Okay. No, I think but with your telekinesis, you can throw things really fast like projectiles if they weigh up to 20 pounds yeah but it's like one ton divided by 10 so is that 100 pounds uh, the, the, yeah. the point is you can you can yeet this into the air with your mind you if can you want to okay okay, okay. Yeah. we're on the same page okay i okay yeah. take it and yeet. one problem <laughs> it is fused to dr belyavev that's not a problem I do, okay Wait, one additional like detail stuck? it's a temporary <laughs> like his hands are stuck to it well, he goes with it then. The fuck? Okay, I just wanted understandable. Have a nice day. Did that recall that being a problem? <laughs> That's so weird. I guess he goes. <laughs> Didn't realize until I started throwing, and I'm like, huh. Really? <laughs> he's just on. flapping <laughs> uselessly in the wind because he's unconscious. <laughs> okay, we'll find out what happens to the orb at the start of your next turn, Sadie. Uh, I saw one action. Oh. Great. What do you want to do with your last action? <laughs> well, my first action was to kill the one guard. My second action was to yeet it, unless you count mm -hmm. that as multiple. Uh, you'd have to move to the hole and then yeet it. 
Oh, okay then. Because they're different zones. Uh, okay. Sure. And all my actions all right. are done then. We're actually going to find out what happens to it at the beginning of Abby's next turn because Abby initiated the process. Oh my gosh. So these two, the two hired guns are looking at each other like, wait, so do we stay here while the outside blows up? I don't know. I haven't had orders for a while. Well, we, we got our orders from Dr. Bellia then. Yeah, I'm just going to wait here. Do you want to fight the American? No. Do you want to fight her? No. We're staying here. All right. It is Dr. Belyavev's turn. He is busy flapping like a windsock. <laughs> Winter Wampus, it is your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, is Miss, uh, Miss Leader of the Five Shields, do you have a way to um, safeguard this entire area from a big explosion? All right, so yeah, actually, now that you mentioned that, when you yeet it into the sky, Breach Fist is down there. And she's going to say, okay, report. I'm having we trouble update getting through on Breach comms. Fist. We update them. Okay. That thing's a beacon for an, for an extraterrestrial invasion. And it's going to explode. Shit. Okay. Everyone take cover. Get to positions. And she starts... Okay, but can you Go cover ahead. the facility or something? Do you have, like, big techy shield or something? We didn't bring anything like that. Oh. We're not expecting not to good. need something on, those, on that scale. Gloria is going to put his snark away for now. Okay, just everybody uh, get as deep as you can and take cover. That's the best thing that we can do for now. I'll alert the team and all personnel to get into duck and cover positions. But aren't there like civilians around here? Yes. How long do we have until it explodes? Like, like 10 seconds. Then she runs. <laughs> she runs upstairs. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> At everybody to get <sighs> down and take cover. Not like, oh god, we're gonna die. But it's like she runs up there and just starts yelling at everyone to get down, get down, get down. Boria's gonna head the top side. Okay. Uh, if Boria's still got actions and he's heading top side, uh, Pronto requests he gets scooped up. Boria oh, does? Yeah. So he's in a different Boria zone. will take anybody up that they want. You're gonna I have plenty of actions. You're gonna Puppies. Have to enter Drone this shot? zone. And then you can grab people if you want. Yeah, I'll run over and I'll and I'll, I'll grab everybody. Right. Second action, third action to move back. Uh, Abby and Sadie, or Abby and Pronto and Sadie, are you all going with? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Everyone's on the board. bus. So one, two, three, and then four to either super jump or just normal jump back up to the to the top side. Apparently, once we get top side, uh, Buria uh, looks over at Pronto. Uh, oh me. Are you? Are you sure? His face drains back to his regulated nods. As sure as I'm never going to be. Just to clarify, I'm throwing you at the exploding orb. Yes. Oh, I was going to do hero sacrifice, but okay. And he just without another word, just <laughs> sends him into the stratosphere. <laughs> uh, I know where this is going now. Yep. <laughs> I didn't a moment ago, but now I know where this is going. Okay. Pronto, you are yeeted into the stratosphere, and it's your turn. What do you want to do? I think you know exactly what he's going to do. He's supermanning it with the symbiote hand. His hand starts to expand. He just eats up Dr. Kleiner and the orb, <laughs> and then closes it. And then texts back as he falls. He's texting on his phone as he falls down from Rishosia. Sidney, please catch me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like trying to send it with a bad signal as he falls. <laughs> oh no, eh? Okay. Um, Mind Speed gets back and is now. Mind Speed and Devil Dove start projecting telekinetic shields over as many people as they can. Whoever they were fighting seems to be gone. Uh, Swordbuster and the American seem pissed. Yeah, because we took all the glory. <laughs> Crystal Pirate is unconscious and in the zapper truck. And at the top of Abby's turn, the orb explodes. 
which um, inside of the extra-dimensional symbiote space, the orb explodes. So sorry about the booyah documents and your GoPro is in there. Yeah. True. Hey, at yeah. least you got your mom out. And so That's many, true. so much candy, just so much candy. <laughs> Yeah, all of Barry's scrap is in there. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, and then the, 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 the hidden lettuce message. Yeah, that's what the GoPro is for. Yeah. Are there, are oh, there uh, no. any chunks of crystal that you had in there as well? Yep. Two of them. We did. We, we did have crystal. You're right. We had crystal in there. Oh, my God. We had so much in there. Okay. <clears throat> Um, Sadie, do you catch him with your psychic powers as he falls? Ooh. Pronto. <laughs> <laughs> Pronto, yeah, I catch him. Okay. <laughs> this text like, please catch me, please catch me, please catch me. Okay. <laughs> you hold Pronto up as he's falling. And then, uh, Pronto, roll 2d6 plus soul. This is a defense roll. So any de no, you're, don't use a defense value, but you can use any other defense abilities. Okay, so one defense mastery, uh, and defense roll gives me expertise, and this is plus ten, and minty freshness. So take away three twenty-four. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Your mind, body, and soul disintegrate in a single <laughs> moment and then reassemble themselves in the exact same moment. It happens within a plank length of time. Nobody else experiences this except you. Everyone else just sees this. You know the green flash? It's not a superhero. Yes. It's when the sun is yes. setting and then uh -huh. just when it dips below. On the horizon. On yes. the horizon. On the, the ocean. blue flash emits from pronto. Ooh. <clears throat> Blink and you miss it. Oh, yeah. man. And he falls unconscious at zero hit points. <laughs> Great dead face. I do have two counts of regeneration, but obviously not to be thought of now. Okay. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll, that'll kick in in a moment. All right, Abby, it is your turn. He just plummeted uh, and then glowed <laughs> for a moment and is motionless and just falling gently guided back down to earth by Sadie's telekinesis. And I caught all of this on camera. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Do you want to do Pronto. anything else? Quad squad heroes. Da -da 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 -da. Um, I don't have any way to bring him back. I could tase him. <laughs> Yo guys, like and subscribe. <laughs> could you could you could you mind control him and just convince him that he's awake? Probably. Can can you wake someone up like that? You have to touch him in order to do so. <laughs> just like jump stopping the brain. <laughs> Clear! No, wake up. Wake up. You're not dead. You're just resting. Wake up. What would you like to do? <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, that won't work. Like, everything I have is just going to incapacitate him, not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at I'm deactivating people, not activating people. Yeah. Can you just, like, Google CPR and resuscitate him? <laughs> just watch the Are... DIY video on it. Are the rest of the five shields around? Yeah, they're, they're all around. Um, oh. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> that was cool, right? We just saved the whole world from um, an alien invasion. Can anybody bring Pronto back? Maybe a little heal? A little... I'm trained. Bring him here.
I can't bring that? him there. <laughs> Reach fist. Oh. You see, uh, Devil Dove is too busy recording everything that just happened and live reacting. Mind Speed is zooming over and like getting ready to catch him. Uh, the American has stopped smashing things and is looking up. And Swordbuster is just shoveling through the debris, looking for whoever he was fighting a moment ago, blasting it with bursts of energy from his axe. Um. Okay, so can I? I'll ask Sadie to bring Pronto over to Breach Fist. Mm -hmm. Um. And then, since I haven't really done anything, I'll make a check. Mm -hmm. for interpersonal dynamics to see if people are mad at us. And That's why. good. Do soul plus interpersonal dynamics, please. Okay. Oh, yeah, American breach fists are pissed about some shit, right? American stopped smashing things and is watching everything that just happened. 2d6 plus soul plus... Plus minty freshness. Fresh I'm very excited to find out if there's a skeleton or just nothing inside of the inside of the <laughs> like what remains of the doctor. <laughs> Dude, or like if it's like a baby tag. now. Or if it's like a baby now, he just like <laughs> begins a new... Just everything in there reverted. The, the crystal regrew into a full crystal. Yes. The, uh, the snacks, I like, I don't know. What's happening? Can I spend energy for oh that? Oh my god! Oh, it didn't add my things. Uh, <laughs> five. Okay, five, 12, 18, 20. A total of 20. Okay. Looking around. Reach Fist is not unhappy with you, but is yeah. more like aware of the actual Okay, we just had a possible alien invasion. <clears throat> there was a weapon of mass destruction down there. Things did not go according to plan. Just, she's in uh, triage mode. Tactical analysis, deal with the situation, handle everything, make sure everyone's okay mode. Miss Kelly Bloom over from the SUV like peeks out because she was taking cover. She peeks out and she gives you a huge thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Mind speed is confused and doing whatever will make Reach Fist happy. And keeping an eye on her. <laughs> uh, Devil Dove is trying to farm the situation for clout. The American is watching everything that's happening and just trying to parse it. And you can tell he's angry, but it's hard to tell at what. Angry and confused. And Swordbuster was really enjoying the fight and is pissed that the fight is over. He's an old. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did I did I miss anyone else? I don't think so. Okay. Every single one of these guys right here. Okay. Uh, we have nine minutes left, so I'm going to start by giving you each of their life story, complete genealogy, yes. career pass, <laughs> high school GPA. Uh, blood type, yeah. social security numbers, and favorite species of monkey. Amazing. Mm. I love it. All right. Anything else, Abby? That's it. Damn. All right. Uh, we are effectively out of combat now. I have this whole epilogue planned. <laughs> and I was thinking a moment ago, like, can I still do that? And I'm like, no, I really, I can't. Like, that'd be railroading. I can't, I can't do my original intended cliffhanger epilogue. Um, we're in uncharted Can territory we... now. Okay, how much is a is a what's it called a re retcon retcon mm -hmm. fifty? Well, it's ten for a minor, fifty for a major retcon. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? I'm not so unhappy I... that I can't do my finale. By the way, can I'm I like... spend a retcon to where I looked into the future and mm -hmm. saw <gasps> the image of what your epilogue was? Yes, what could have happened? The ultimate oh. timeline. Done. Yes. Cool. Done. Okay. So, in the alternate timeline that you prevented, Crystal Pirate, well, it started out with blue and white, violet fire popping up all over the sky as hundreds of those crystalline entities started to descend. Remember how they disrupt electronics? 
all cell coverage throughout the entire oh. Empire City down. All communication oh, networks no. down. Several satellites disabled by their arrival. Crystal pirates start twitching and resonating. The more of them arrive on the same harmonic frequency that his powers operate. They possess him. He glows. His crystals all turn their color. He glows with that same aura that they have. Lifts the entire structure into the air with everybody in it floating off to the side and speaks in an unearthly voice on their on the behalf of those who arrived. They came seeking shelter. They found only violence. Now they must fight to survive and claim this world for their own. <clears throat> oh, snap. That's crazy. Yeah, that didn't happen, though. <laughs> now all we have is a drawing of it. <laughs> okay, but wait, but 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 since but since Abby knows that, technically we know that they didn't mean to be harmful, so we can try to find them and help them if they're seeking shelter. That's entirely possible, except for the fact that you are the ones who killed them. But you know, that's that's an option. We killed some of them. That's my bad. You only killed one. You only killed one. Shoot first, True. ask questions later. You know. <laughs> Sigh first, ask questions later. All right. Can I, so, can I go talk to the American when you're done your epilogue? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're we're in we're in free play mode now. Go ahead. Oh, you were done. Okay. Yeah, hey. I was done. <laughs> so I kind of like put the scythe and then like blade facing up and mm -hmm. kind of lean on it, try to be all smooth, and I kind of touch the blade where the blood was of all the values and. <laughs> Well, this one is the crypto guide. This one was the crystal one. This one, oh, these are all of, and then it starts just like describing all the kills to the American. How many did you get? His hand is twitching. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad for a first outing. I need to go see if um if White Banner is still and he chews on his own tongue for a moment, his like practically invulnerable tongue, and flies off. And you hear the sound of his heat ray eyes and just Oh my gosh. I was Thank you, it would have been just fine. And then a side of the building rips off that, that fell apart and hurls over the horizon towards the Atlantic Ocean. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, Flux, do not date this man. He would be a very terrible ex. Yeah, I haven't scanned him, but I think he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's probably really good at dancing. Is our car still outside? Yeah. Ryan! <laughs> yeah, so you know, you know who else is gonna dancing? Uh, Ryan! I'm so, just so thirsty right now. <laughs> For <laughs> champagne. Champagne. Ryan, Ryan was watching that whole thing. He appreciates the kill count. He knows a little bit about all those different people and uh, how impressive that was. So he's willing to listen to your war stories. The <laughs> media starts arriving, pulling up around to see like what happened. Um, and for some reason, the American is, and Swordbuster are not available for comment. Uh, they seem to have left already. But there's Can a I take a quick second before the media gets here? Yeah, what do you want to do? Well, I want to be, first of all, no longer giant, you know, plus size. Mm -hmm. uh, Breach Fist is currently helping Pronto, right? Mm -hmm. Boria is very worried about Pronto, wants to make sure that Pronto is okay. Is mm -hmm. Pronto conscious again? Yes, his regeneration kicks in shortly after. And mm -hmm. he wakes back up. Pronto? <gasps> so we got one of these where, like, Boria is like, hey, Hey, you. Ow. Pronto. Pasta boy. Wake up. Come on. Pronto, you feel fine. Yeah. You feel completely fine. You feel great. Honestly. I was I was kind of expecting to die. Uh, I was kind of expecting for you to die. Damn. Sorry I didn't get to say goodbye. Uh, Next Pronto, ex Pronto extends his, like, uh, palm to Boreas, like, you want to go see what's in there? Da, immediately. <laughs> and Bo Boreas can just yeet in if he wishes. He wishes. <laughs> okay. You just see the little dog go inside the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Boria, when you enter the extra-dimensional space... Yeah? 
you see an island with a huge, fantastic, high-tech metal city on oh top God. of it, glowing all around with the same runes that, that were on this sphere. It's enormous, and it's just floating in there. And is there anything else that was remaining of the previous? Nope, everything else is gone. Poor doctor. Question. Uh, this mm -hmm. is to Pronto. D do you know what's inside your extra? Can you sense what's in your extra dimensional space? Uh, I I think he's got like a vague inventory, but it's kind of just like a mental checklist rather than like mm -hmm. uh, implicit understanding. So if he hasn't put it in there, he generally doesn't remember, which is why we had to do like the the thing going off time is like. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's the thing about I just want to like come out and be like, oh my gosh, Bridge and Terabithia. But then there's part of me that has one to worry just to come out and go, yeah, no, everything's fine. <laughs> we just go off into the sunset. You have yeah. a portable city in your head. Perfect. Perfect. No notes. How does everybody handle the media in this epilogue? Abby, I imagine, sort of like along with Kelly Bloom, takes point, right? Yeah. Totally. Do you have a story? Painting, painting out Pronto as the hero, mm -hmm. uh, the sacrificial hero. Um, and of course, it was live streamed the whole time. So if you want to see, you know, a recording, just what, head what? over to twitch.tv slash Abby Live. <laughs> Meanwhile, all of your followers are blowing up in chat. Oh my God, Abby's on TV. This is also um, a really great time for us to announce um, the quad squad. We've signed with the five shields. <laughs> cameras, 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 interviews, questions. Sadie, how are you handling all of this? Abby's at the front of it. Uh, like there's a whole bunch of media attention. Kelly is, uh, Miss Bloom is trying to get all of you like for to be up front. This is your big moment. This is your stepping out moment. Uh, she'll probably go on to describe, well, in addition to what Abby said, uh, kind of describes how she handled the big bosses mm -hmm. and uh, starts signing some stuff and is <laughs> <laughs> with any fans that are nearby and super happy to be part of the Five Shields and yeah, good day. And where is Artificer now? Where is he? Where, where, where did we put Probably him? Probably will step up and say... Well, some of the Echelon Alliance was able to escape, but they took significant casualties. We were able to bring many of them into custody, and we're hoping that through intensive interrogation, all on the up and up, of course, we're going to be able to get a lot more information. Uh, the Quad Squad really did a huge, huge thing here today, and we think that Artificer can't be on the run much longer. And what's your name, you little fuzzy wuzzy? Uh, this is Buria Zima. I am an international social media star, and uh, I am the Winter Wampus! And he, like, just live on air, just transforms into the Winter Wampus. As he explodes, uh, he makes sure that he grabs each one of his team members and is, like, holding them up. And uh, as he grows larger and larger, whenever there are villains that are coming to attack Empire City, whenever they get too cold or too hot, whenever there are guns and knives, anything that could stop you from being alive and enjoying your life and having the sweetest of all candies, the Quaz God will be here to ensure that whether it is brain or power or uh, cell phone, whatever, we will be there to defend you because we care for you. And then he presents each one of his teammates in a very heroic, like, posing, cool-looking <laughs> way. Pronto, how are you dealing with the press? Uh, you've just uh, been shown, like, the whole sacrificial story has been, it's out there now. Abby deployed it. Mm -hmm. uh, Pronto kind of was a bit closer to Bridgefish during most of this, I think. Uh, just to, uh, appearing next to her, but I, I think Pronto is quite quiet in front of a lot of the media. He's not amazingly savvy with talking to them. So he mostly just sort of like uh, lets Bridgefish, Abby, and Sadie uh, deal with a lot of the questions. And then probably just like when Buria shrinks back down, they like go over and like sit on a curl. You know, I heard there's a food truck around here that'll put caramel in ramen. Oh my goodness, I am very, very excited to see this. Uh, also, you and I have something to discuss later, but I do not want to ruin the mood. Here, let us go get us some amazing food. 
that walk around. That was a good throw, by the way. You, that was a really good heroic sacrifice. I'm, I'm very sad that it didn't work out for you, but there's always next time. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe next time. I'm very Indeed. glad you're not dead. And he reaches up and he grabs hold of Pronto's hand as they walk towards <laughs> the food truck. And the camera zooms out. There's police lights and emergency lights and cameras from the film crew. Continues to zoom out past all the way up into Empire City. Choppers flying by as it goes up over the sky. The normal sky. The normal stars that everyone expects. And Empire City has a lot to talk about. They will sleep in peace tonight. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for Absolute Power. This was a ton of fun. Uh, special thanks to Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, Ninja Man, Matt, and Pods of War for tackling this new system. Uh, I hope all of you out there get the chance to check it out. There is a free primer out there. The, like we said, the sheer customization of the freaking Winter Wampus, the scythe, psychic lady, influencer of death, and gun-eating hand man. You can basically do whatever you want to do with this. <laughs> so uh, thanks again to Discami for supporting us. Thank you to all of you for joining us. And we will see you around the internet on our next adventure. So take care. Yay. Okay, stick around, everybody. I'm going to do... Oh, holy shit. Well, that <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> what, 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 what was supposed to happen? Uh, okay, so um, hang on. I'm going to do it for real this time, all right? Hang on. Do hang it for on. real. Do it for real. <laughs>